What's going on guys, my name is Mojo Kicks and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the upcoming Air Jordan 1 Low Soulfly and everything you guys need to know about this release, as well as my resale predictions a little later on in the video. But without further ado, let's get right into today's video. Air Jordan 1 Low Black and Sport Red is said to be releasing this Friday, December 17th for a retail price of 150 USD. It is loaded up on Nike sneakers for 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time via the normal 10 minute draw. Now we've had leaks of this Air Jordan 1 Low for a while now, and ever since then we really didn't get too much info on this shoe until as of recently we got official images, and of course now we've got the official release date. Now there are currently some raffles open up for the shoe, but not too many. I don't expect there to be a bunch of raffles for this Jordan 1 Low as I don't expect stock to be too high. The majority of places that do get them will probably be doing it via raffle. I think places like Kith and Concepts could possibly get them. They'll drop it via first come first serve like they always do. It's possible Concepts might do the in-store pickup at their two Concepts locations. Now I do believe there's also supposed to be a Jordan LS slide releasing alongside it in the same kind of carnivore color scheme. I believe the original name for these was the Soulfly Air Jordan 1 Low Carnivore. Now that carnivore name was inspired by the Air Carnivore from 1993. It of course features that same kind of color scheme as well. You also got that heavily inspired safari print from that Air Carnivore. The shoe is also inspired by the 2000 three Nike SB Dunk Low Bison and the red suede toe box is a detail from that 2003 pair so it's really cool that they took inspiration from older colorways the whole upper is in the black suede and you do have nylon tongues the Soulfly logo is embroidered on the left back tab and on the right back tab you do have the Air Jordan Wings logo finally to complete the design you do have the gum rubber outsole the insoles are actually pretty cool as well they also feature that safari carnivore print another really cool detail is the three different laces you do get with this shoe there is the black pair that comes originally on the shoe you also seem to get a tan pair which features the same color that's on the actual shoe and you also get a safari print one which i think probably looks the best i'm not 100 percent sure but i do believe there's also going to be a red pair as well there's also a special edition box for the shoe you have a regular air jordan one box but it does feature a little bit of a different color scheme the lid of the box is red and the bottom half is in the black color scheme the nike branding on the box is in that tan it also comes with a sleeve that features the soulfly logo on the top so it's pretty cool i always love when collaborations have a special edition box it kind of just makes the collab a little better. Now, I'm sure the materials on this Jordan 1 Low are going to be really, really good. Majority of the upper is in the suede material, but you also got leather around the toe box and on the heel. I don't expect these to be too high in stock. I really don't think there's going to be a crazy amount. I also don't think these are going to be too limited where they're impossible to get. I would be pretty shocked if they are. I think they're going to be somewhere in the middle. If I had to take a guess, I would probably say 15 to 20k on sneakers. Now, the resale currently on the Soulfly Air Jordan 1 Low is actually not too bad right now. It's around 320 to 375 depending on size. Some sizes seem to be going for a little bit more than that as well. The bigger sizes are the ones that are doing better and those are the ones going for a little bit more. It really depends on stock and that's really going to affect the resale value. If these are quite high in stock and you see a good amount of W's on release day, then I think they could probably come down to around 250, probably stay around there. Even if stock is high, they shouldn't come down to retail. I really can't see them going below 250 if stock is high and I don't think stock's going to be too crazy high where it's going to affect the resale to come down to retail. If these are on the more limited side, then I think the resale could stay around the 3 to $350 price range. These will probably go up for sure over time, especially if they're limited, they'll be a really good long-term hold as well. But make sure to let me know down in the comments your guys' thoughts on this new Soulfly Air Jordan 1 Low, and if you're gonna be attempting to copy it this Friday, December 17th. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching today's video. Hopefully you guys all enjoyed. If you did, make sure to smash that like button down below. And if you're new here and you haven't already, consider hitting that subscribe button. Like always, guys, I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.